hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel today for you guys I have a Etsy sticker planner accessory haul and basically I've just been shopping away um, this order doesn't include PVC orders but it does include things that have come before and after those orders so I'm just kind of doing a variety here and you'll see tons and tons of videos <laughs> for Etsy sticker hauls because I've just been shopping away like I just said but basically here I'm just going to be splitting them up and they're not going to be parts they're just going to be hauls for you guys so yeah but here as you can see I've got some clips and I've got some stickers galore I got some mystery kits and just some regular purchases from shops and also have something that is off camera because it's too big to be in screen with all the other goodies. Before I get started, I want to let you guys know if you like videos like this where I show you guys Etsy stickers and all the other hauls that I do, like craft hauls from like scrapbooking shops and Michaels and things like that, and if you want to see Plan With Me's that I do, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below because you will see little information boxes that let you guys know when I've uploaded the video. Also, if you guys want to like figure out exactly when I actually upload, you can hit that notification bell also down there and it'll let you guys know when I do upload because it's kind of been sporadic lately because of all the wonderful things that have been going on in my house basically for like the past three weeks I've been trying to figure out when I was going to move to a different room in my house and so now I'm in it and it's on the main floor that's kind of a con because everyone's always on this floor and it's the busiest floor in the house and right now I'm by myself finally but occasionally you'll probably hear little people around and so I want to apologize for that already because it's probably going to happen and I'm just going to have to deal with it. Also, you're probably going to hear fans because there's no air conditioning in here. So that's a pro and but you're going to hear a fan. So yeah, I digress and I think that's all the little announcements that I have to make in this video so we can go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this right here. This is the thing that was off screen because it was too big to fit on it. It is basically this planner girl cup and it's not necessarily a planner girl cup. They call it like, a, like I don't know what it's called on Target's website but it's like a little girl like dish for uh, pens and pencils for your desk and um, I don't really know the specific like the specs of how to look it up. I could probably put it in the description bar down there before you guys how I yeah I'll put a link to it down there and yeah basically I got two of these but I'm only going to show one they are glass so they do you know break and the way that Target packages them is horrendous like I uh, I'm surprised that both of mine came intact and not broken because when I saw a Facebook post of one woman's stuff I about cried because they just put them in big boxes and they only put bubble wrap around them and mine came with two lights but they came in like the two lights that I came with and they weren't in a different box at all they were up under the boxes that the lights were in and I literally I thought they were broken but they were not thank God and I'm glad that I actually par purchased them with something else because I'm pretty sure they probably would have been broken if they came by themselves but yeah thank God that mine came intact and I got two of these things and they are big like as you can see my hands this small and it's the size of my hand like literally it's bigger than my fist so I can see why like it is like seven dollars and it holds lots of pens and stuff so yeah I'm gonna stop talking about it because I did tell you guys I was kind of like I'm not gonna get this thing but i went in head and like broke and got it so now I have two of them and they sit on my desk all pretty as they are all right on to the stickers well planner clips because that's what I'm gonna start with and as you can see here I got this big old stack I took them out and already like have them ready to go because I got so many that she had to put them in a box yes and they come from Sugar and Ivy, so I do have the invoices that I'm going to read for you guys. So if you see, like, paper flopping everywhere, that's because I kind of read to you guys what the invoices say that they actually are. So if you want to, like, look them up, you can know the exact name of them and all that shebang. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started with the first sheet. And it has here this one right here. And I'm going to zoom in more so you guys can see them and I don't have to hold them. But this one... 
is the fall Halloween pink pumpkin and I don't have any kids that are Halloweenish with pink in it. I know there's probably one like floating around that I didn't get, but I'm like more particularly going to use this in November because I have kids that have pink in it and they're not really like fallish. So this is going to make them fallish in my opinion. The next one here is this little polar bear and it's so cute. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but I call it a he. So there you go. I thought this was really cool for January because I have some kind of like kids that have polar bears in it and even then like it's white that's what January is in my opinion and so this would go well with snow the next one I got here was a Halloween spider web and I got this one because some of my like Halloween kits come with spider webs so I figured out like use this as an addition to kind of play off of that and make maybe like the triangle type thing where you have like the three of each similar thing there you go now I have a planner kit with a spider web and I'm going to mention these together because they are addition to my like floral flower collection here. I got the red floral one and as you can tell they all look the same. They have a little diamond in them. They're just different colors. So I got the floor, like the red one and I got the light pink one. So now I have some that look like Valentine's. Super cute. And the only one I have left that I don't think I have is the brown one. And like when I went to order this like super haul because she had a sale. I don't know what the sale was for but she had a sale. The brown one sold out. And I was so upset but now I have a reason to order again, right? <laughs> I always try to figure out a reason to like order again because I like giving people business. I love supporting like small businesses. The next clip that I have here for you guys is a DNA genetics one and it's basically DNA and I thought this was gorgeous. I've been eyeing it forever and now that I have my major, like my major, my degree in biology, I I have an excuse to actually get one now. So this is going to kind of sit in my A5 planner because I want to like showcase some of the stuff that I have in there. This is one thing that's going to add to like the little showcasing there. The next set thing that I got here, these didn't come in sets but they like pretty much the same thing. They're just different colors. Is the faux leather bows and I got silver, navy, and gold. They all don't shimmer and sparkle but they are like I guess metallic like because of the light shining on them but I just think that these are staples and gorgeous colors and I could literally use them with the majority of my lots of spreads. But she came out with a purple one. I'm not sure if she has one of those, but if she does, I need to eye her shop for that because I probably need to pick up purple, pink, like the majority colors that I do get for my spreads. And so here is another one. It's the Sweet Fox one. I think I have like two more Fox planner clips, but I keep adding to them because Fox is like one of my favorite animals. I have several favorite animals, but the Fox is one of them. So yeah, I got the fox and it's gray with a bow. There you go. And I got Jack here, but he's not called Jack in the shop. He's called Halloween Skull. And fun fact, I almost purchased another one of these. And I legit went in my like Etsy purchases and found Jack sitting there. And realized that he was actually at my house because I would already purchased him. So like I legit like exited out that shop. And was like, no, I'm not going to get another Jack one. But yeah, I got Jack. And from the Nightmare Before Christmas, if you don't know. So, he has a friend, and I'm not sure what his friend is. The mayor of the town, I think that's who he is. And I have him too, but yeah, I got a Halloween kit from, which you'll see in a later haul. And so, I'm going to use Jack for that kit. Why am I telling you guys all the things that are coming up? I don't know, give you guys a little sneak peek. So, the next thing I got here was the little planner girl. And I got her to showcase in my A5 too. She's just really cute. She comes in a dark skin and a light skin. But, you know, guys, I'm dark skin. So, I got the dark skin version. And then I got a Thanksgiving turkey. She has a little, like, um, I don't know what those things are called. They're not halos, but they're, like, you know, a little head, pay, head piece. There you go. And I don't really do Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is not one of my favorite holidays. So I don't really do like a kit specified for it because they all are weird. Um, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I don't really like showcasing food too much in my planner because it encourages me to eat and I don't want to do that. But um, yeah, I figured if I can't have like a turkey based kit, I would have a Thanksgiving clip instead to showcase throughout the month because we all know that's the deal. So I picked that up. And the last but not least one I got was this mermaid shake drink and it's going to go in my A5 so I don't really have a planner like spread that's going to go with this one but I have a clip for it right if it all comes up. And so yeah I've been sizing them up if you hadn't tell but yeah they're all of my planner clips and I got 17 in all like 
that's a rec no it's not a record because I placed another planner clip order that was beyond this but they're all kind of the same thing but you'll see them in a later haul but these are all the planner clips that I got from Sugar and Ivy so hit her shop up she will be in the description box below if you guys don't know I do put like all the shop links down there so check her out and so the next shop here they have is from LMP I haven't shown her in a while I don't think and I didn't get her October mystery kit because I just didn't I forgot to skip because I have a hard and hard time skipping but I decided to skip it but you know I still had to purchase an order from her to support her and I just love her stickers so I picked up some but here this order came with a different journaling card than what I already have this one says you are loved and it features the princess paper in the background if you know the princess kit and you know what I'm talking about but there's that and then I picked up some things from her shop that go with a mystery kit that she did last September um, she did her like a revamp of that kit so it came out and I need to pull out some more there you go but I picked up the pieces that she didn't have like in her shop that she like recently came out with so um, I got that and she does give like a sample blur for your order based off one of the kits and she chose this particular one to get the sampler for so it does come in glossy because these two sheets came in glossy these are literally like the only two sheets I buy and glossy but yeah besides the SBC kit support because you know her shop everything is in glossy but these ones I purposely bought in glossy because the kit that I got last year was in glossy so there you go but it, I basically, like I said, I just bought the sheets that I didn't have because she didn't have these back in the day. These are like the new versions of the sheets. But this one has the date dots and the date covers and half boxes and checklists. And the side note, she did add more like half boxes with deco in it. I'm like super excited because I know that someone or a bunch of people are like telling her that maybe she should do that. And so, yay, I feel like we've been heard. So, of course, you know, she loves to like do stuff for her customers and make us happy so yeah I like the fact that she added those in there and can't wait to use this kit now and also got the washi sheet here with the horizontal washi the vertical washi and like extra vertical washi strips and then a little bit of deco here and I just love how big it is but I know I'm gonna have a hard time using it at the top because I'm gonna have to cut some of those things but it's gonna be all right and so the last kit that I got well, the last kit was the kit that I purchased was the Willow kit and I'm not sure if she has this kit in her store anymore because she did say something about she wasn't using um, clip art from this particular shop that she used to make this kit. It's a lot to like talk about to go on about this but she did make a big post Facebook post about it and if you're a planner girl you know what the situation was. So um, I got the a la carte glitter headers in their gorgeous fall colors. Pretty super excited. I love fall if you didn't know. Fall is like one of my favorites and so I've been like super excited to get to fall this year. So I bought the mini kit, you know it comes with five sheets, but the first two sheets that are on the top is her two page sheet and I probably should move these two right because you don't want to be distracted. But here is her two page sheet kit thing here, you can buy these separately by themselves and they just come with a variety of way of stickers, I'm not going to go through them like because I always go through her sticker sheets like this but um, she does like cater to both like years of planners for the EC she does have like flags for the um, the 2007-2016 people and then she keeps the two big old flags for the new planners that have the, the neutral so there you go with that the next sheet in the mini kit is the full boxes and I got the vertical ones and they're very gorgeous like this is me in a kit I like the paint the paint strips the paint brushes strokes the flowers and I don't know what this is but I love dots if you guys know seriously I love dots so yeah I I like the fact that it's incorporated all of those things and she did include two quotes the first one is let your past make you better and then this one says life is better when you're laughing and then here you got that same sheet that I showed you guys earlier with half boxes quarter boxes date cover-ups checklist and then you get the horizontal washi, washi for the vertical, and extra washi. And she does change this like sheet up based on how much deco it is. Sometimes she doesn't include it because it doesn't have any with that particular clip art. But 
this time it did so she included lots of it and I like this plant I didn't see it before but yeah I like it and I wish that shops would do like the Android phones like I'm sorry I went off a rent right there but I'm not an Apple user I don't know for some reason I'm anti-Apple but I like everything I just don't like the Apple phone it, I just had a bad experience with it so yeah I wish she'd do like new phones because I like the notes I'm a Galaxy Note person so yeah Samsung all the way robot there you go but yeah we're not gonna go too far off the, the ramble here but yeah these are all the stickers that I got and I like to put things in the corner if you can't tell because you can see my shadow but yeah that's all the things I got from Little Miss Papery okay so the next shop I'm gonna show you guys I got two orders from them and one come really later than the other one did but it's all good it's all a piece of cake and it's soda pop studio I rarely order from her but I've been kind of on my game continuously ordering from her because now she does vlogs and honestly I don't want to go on a ramble here and digress but I just like the fact that she does them because it makes me understand more how like the business works I guess um, I'm never gonna own an Etsy shop I'm not gonna say never but I just don't like aspire to that and just seeing how hard it is to own one and how difficult it is and seeing the process behind making stickers getting the stickers sent out you know some people will just I understand we're all impatient about stickers but you can see how hard it is for her to just do the business and it's not probably not hard I'm just making it sound like it is but yeah I just I give her props because her and her husband work day and night to get stickers out and yeah now that I'm filming this I constantly see her vlogs and I see now they're working super hard to get those PVC cells out so kudos to Megan and yeah if you want to see how she lives she has a vlog channel called Life of the Greens and she does daily vlogs occasionally she may skip a day because she gets busy and life is life and sometimes you don't want to show it but yeah anyway I did purchase like orders from her and I you probably will see her more often now because I literally clicked that button like that because I love supporting people that I can see and I can see you know her on YouTube and she does a lot for her shop and she's just not someone who just goes with the flow and it's an extra job this is her job this is how she helps her family so yeah I got two samplers because I did place two orders but they're the same and they just have like a good variety of stickers I love how big her sampler is and I'm not even going to cover up her shop name but there you go I got two of those the first order that I placed was for this kit and it is called the sweet escape kit and she had like this in the last chance with a couple of other kits but I wasn't fond of those so I chose this because this reminds me of a kit that I did not get from LMP and that's a little Miss Papery. I need to stop saying LMP and actually say the full name. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just didn't get it and so I felt really bad that I just missed out on it. And so I picked up this and here it just comes with the two page kit. Because her kits don't come full like kit. I wish she would do like a button where you can just put everything in the, the cart. But she doesn't so I got the two page kit here which is her like mini kit and it comes with a variety of stickers here you get so many things and you also get like washi strips I didn't know those were up there until I looked at this but yeah you get that and you get a bunch of other things that you guys can see I don't have to describe it for you guys and then you get I got the full boxes here I they're like I said they're individual you have to click them in the shop you just can't get like a full mini kit they're not like that <laughs> I just want to stress it out if you not planner shopper and you don't shop at our shop often but yeah I got the full boxes for the street escape kit and then I got her new version of the washi she came out with this months ago but because I haven't ordered from her like for a while I got to see how it is now and so you got the washi with extra like washi strips and little extra quarter boxes so there you go and I'm sorry that I'm showing you guys a slate but it got to me late so um, it won't get to me too late but it was like, it was already gone by the time I got it. So, yeah, that's sold out and it's it's gone. Sorry. And then the last like order that I got is kind of gone too. It's an October kit, and I didn't get this till October the second. But that's okay because it's still early October and it gives me a reason to actually plan now. So basically here I got the October Deco and it's just really cute. I love the pumpkins, the birds, and the bicycles and all those cool things. And then I got one of the monthlies for the A5. 
These are specifically made for the so much crafting inserts, but y'all guys know, you got y'all guys know, you guys know that I use the Recollections one, so I did not see a video at all talking about a comparison between the two, like, inserts, and so I figured I would see if this kit actually went in that, in, like, the Recollections one without a problem or with problems or whatever, so I probably will do, like, a video showing you guys that, because I had never seen one on YouTube, and someone out there may want to figure it out like I did. And then I got the October one for the Erin Condren Planner. Um, the way she does these is different too. She had like the two sh page sheet for the main October one. And then she got add on for those people who are just special like me and want more. <laughs> there you go. But this one and legit they need to figure out what these two boxes are called because I have no idea what they're called. But they're like the top bars for the monthly kits and then you got some quarter box situations here with the flags and the two holidays of the month. Then you got some extra date covers up because October only has, like the first part is like a Sunday, a Sunday, so you don't have to cover that up, but you know how the bottom one is, so these are just extra boxes if you want to cover up any days or random things like that. You got bill dues, you got the little date, like block offs for things like that. And I see this box, it's really pretty, it's just a random box there that's bigger than all the other quarter boxes and you got date covers, paydays, little birthday ba balloons. I need to slow down. <laughs> and you got a small array of icons which I wish she would come out with more of those because I'm a student and majority of the time I have papers due and these look like bills so either way I digress and maybe maybe on one of those extra sheets that I didn't pick up but that's what the two page monthly kit comes with. And then the add-on here is this. It comes with that big old sidebar sticker. It comes with the date cover-up for that long strip that is at the end of October that we don't need because it's November. And then it comes with some bigger quarter boxes. I'm just going to call them quarter boxes even though they're like monthly quarter boxes. And then you got the monthly half boxes there. So there you go. And those were my two orders from Soda Pop Studio. You guys will be seeing her more often now. I told you guys I'm supporting her like full force now. She gives me an excuse to buy stickers. And I love how her stickers are formatted. I just didn't like the price of them. So now I just deal with the price. Here we have my SBC October Mystery Kit. And I have been subscribed to the Ultimate Kit for like the past three, four months. I'm really on the fence about getting one of her color kits because I want to add more stickers to my collection, but I find myself not really planning. I need to get on my game of back planning. And I always have extras from these kits. So I'm having a hard time like deciding on whether or not I want to spend more on stickers, particularly stickers that are expensive. But I'm going to hold off for now. I still have our ultimate kit and it comes with a lot of stickers. So yeah, the exclusive post-it note looks like this. And she did it a different way this time. She did a checklist, I guess, vertical style in my opinion, rather than horizontal, which is like this. In my mind. In my mind. Um, and so, I just love that it's purple. You guys know I'm like... It's not one of my favorite colors, but for some reason it should be because I always gravitate towards purple if I don't have green or orange. So, yeah. And I just love the background and it. it's gorgeous. I don't know what like she did with this gold um, detailing, but it's just off the chain. I'm getting kind of original here with how I say things. Um, but yeah, I really like this post-it note. And I just collect these things. I haven't had a chance to use them. Sometimes I don't like using them because they're too pretty, but I'm going to have to get used to those things because I collect those things like ridiculous. So here you have the, like, I keep wanting to say ultimate kit freebie, and it's not as the exclusive kit freebie. And so it just comes with, like, all the variety of things there. The exclusive deco, deco, <sighs> the exclusive dinos to this kit are having a little campfire there. I don't know if they're roasting s'mores. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if they're roasting s'mores, but they are. And as you guys see, she does customize these to the kit. I wouldn't say customize, like, as in, like, full customize, but she does, like, coloring that's different. You know, they each have their, like, different color, but she changes them to go with the kit, which I think is really neat because I would have thought they would all stay the same colors, but it's all good. And... As you can see, that kind of gave away the theme of camping. If you don't watch our spoiler videos, then I'm sorry if I spoiled it for you. Um, I don't really say hold off. This is her SBC kit if you don't want to look at it. You just come at your own risk. <laughs> but yeah, her 
second freebie was this sheet and it is small and it's just like happy mail slash shipping boxes for all the goodies that you do get in the mail and she did this instead of the fashion girls because she only included two fashion girls this month which is kudos to her because I'm kind of I hate to say it but I'm kind of tired of seeing all those fashion girls like I can't use them all I'm probably never gonna use them all and they're just gonna be stuck in my collection until I throw them away um, I'm just being real here really real so I'm just glad she didn't really keep that many of them because now I feel like I can actually use the ones that are here and I'm trying to avoid using them I feel like they're overdone now the fashion girls and that we need to find something else interesting but until then fashion girls all the way that's what people have been doing and so um, here is the glitter sampler that comes free with the like it's not free but it comes as an exclusive for the um, mystery kit but yeah it's really pretty I love these colors and they're nice so I got that and then here is the actual kit now let's get on to something that's really serious and um it gets this is the first page it has like a camping theme as I told you guys and I really like it the main thing that really attracted me was the owls because owls are like one of my favorite animals also foxes um so yeah I'm telling you guys that lots of my favorite animals you guys can kind of like know by now what they are but yeah, the owl is one of them, and so that's the first sheet. The second sheet here is like the second functional sheet, which is I that's what I call it, with a small icons checklist and other things like that. And then you have the half box, quarter box, build do, sidebar, habit, tracker, situation stuff, the deco washi, and you got the headers, the solid washi, the blank appointment label situation, and the little things, umbre heart checklist. The full boxes, which guys are gorgeous, and like, I told you guys I don't really camp, but that camping scene is a bomb, and I like the fact that her tent kind of looks like a little genie tent. Reminds me of that genie girl off of Halloween Town. I think it's Halloween Town High. I'm not sure which Halloween Town it is, but she reminds me, it reminds me of that genie girl. And my fur, like my favorite box of all is this one because I've never seen any design like it and it's gorgeous so there you go and that's the first version of the girl she's light skin toned so there you go and the quote says and so the adventure begins I'm kind of flying through this because we all know what her like format is but there you go and so here is her date washi and date like date washi and bottom washi and the dark skinned version of that girl so that is legit all that I got from SBC, I haven't really like purchased a full blown order from her besides my mystery kit in a long time. Just because I've kind of just tried to avoid watching <laughs> her videos. I do watch them, but I just, when it says release, I kind of like stay away because I'm like, I don't need an excuse to buy stickers. I already buy way too many. But yeah, that's all I got from SPC for this haul. And then the last shop here is from Pumpkin Paper Go. This is my second order from her. And I just really love her stickers. She had a sale. She did her sale the same weekend as the PBC sale, but she wasn't in the PBC sale. I'm not sure why, but I know there was like new rules where certain people can come in if they had certain amount of times that they've already been in the sale. So, um, just I guess to add more variety of like different people coming in and not getting the same people over and over again. But yeah, I like that because it allows me to get new shops. But yeah, she did still have a sale, so I did pick up some stuff because she rarely has them. So I took advantage of that. And of course, you know, it comes with this little like post it with your name on it and tells you all about the cool things of Pumpkin Paper Co. And then it also came with this postcard that has a Halloween themed. I didn't know I was going to get this. I saw it on her Instagram post and I was like, oh, that's cute, you know, and then it came to me. So I was like, that's great. And I do keep these. I don't ever send them to people because I feel weird sending them, first of all. And then second of all, how would they feel if they got this one and they know it doesn't come from the store? And they see Pumpkin Paper Co. and they think, oh, this is from Taria's stickers. <laughs> No one is as serious as stickers as me and my family and when I like get pa packages in the mail they're like, it's just stickers for Taria. That's how they are, but they, they, they support me full time. <laughs> and so here I got just, um, I got an array of stickers, but majority of these are like Christmas themed because, like I said, I just want to go ahead and stock up because she doesn't really do sales. So this one is like Christmas sampler with the different stickers that are Christmas themed. Some of these won't get used, like the ones with the boys under the mistletoe, because I'm not, I I'm single Pringle, single all the way, and don't ever plan on being a couple 
for at least a good decade or so. Of course, things might change, but yeah, not soon. Not anytime soon. So those probably will never be used or won't ever get used anytime soon. Anyway, I should be more positive, right? <laughs> Whatever. Um, and so here is like the cozy Tara. She's in her like, Christmas themed blanket. So these are Christmas themed and I don't know how, but that's what they were called in the shop. So there you go. She's cozied up in different variety of patterned blankets. Then I got a Terra girl and she's washing dishes because I've taken on the challenge or the challenge of the chore of washing dishes. It kind of rotates in my family and it used to not have me on it because I was in college but now that I'm back home I added myself to it. So I got wash in Terra's because I wash dishes three times a week and I love it. So far so good. And the last sticker, no that's the second to last one. But it's Tara, she's covered up in one of those blankets and she's sitting by the fireplace. We have a fireplace at my house, but we never really light it, so when we do light it, I'm going to sit by it just so I can use a sticker. Yep, that is me, all the way. And then here we've got the little Tara girl, she's got her hot chocolate in my world it's apple cider, because I don't really care for hot chocolate, but either way, it's a drink, a little little hot drink there and it's got a Christmas tree and we don't have our Christmas tree up because it's October but when we do I'm going to take the time out to sit by it so I can use a sticker and also I can mark you know like a lengthy midnight movie night binge night of Christmas movies so there you go and then here you got some stockings and that was the last sheet that I got from Pumpkin Paper Co. I like her stickers I've been trying to buy more of them and I do not get that many sheets at a time just because I've been trying to limit myself when I buy stickers from her shop so I can buy more purchases, I guess I should say. So yeah, that is all that I got in this haul. If you guys can see, I did show you guys a good variety of like sticker shops. And I'm only going to show you guys the stickers because they're the ones that are nearby. And this is like a good closing, right? You get to see the real action of me trying to show you guys a closing. So yeah, that's pretty much it besides all the other things that I showed you guys and talked to you guys in this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Also, comment down below if you guys got some of these things or if you guys want to pick up some of these things now because I have enhanced or influenced you guys to buy some stickers from these shops. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!